All right, so I want to show you again. I don't want to assume that you already know how to do this. So we have our jig head here, and we have our gulp bait. So the way these actually get married together is like this. You're basically going to take this hook, and you're going to come through because you want this bait to have as natural an appearance on the hook as possible. So we're just making our way through, and you can see how we're just bending up on there. And we want that to come as much close out of the center as possible. So let me see if I can get that poking in. Thank you, wifey, for holding the camera. No problem. Alright, so as that bait, you can see, comes out of there. Now we're just going to continue, and we're pushing here. And you see how we have that little barb there on the top? We're just going to push right up over top of that. Alright, we want that bait to swim as natural as possible. You know, not perfect, but you can see it's pretty straight. Pretty straight. So that's what you're wanting your bait to look like. So that's what we're going to be throwing tomorrow and a few days, hope, over the next week. Trying to see if we can get these flounders, red, speckled trout, all these wonderful fish to come home with us all right so hope you enjoy this if you haven't seen this before cool if you hook them some different way if you rig them some different way hit me down in the comment box i'd love to hear some different ways you're having success carolina rig or other you know let me know all right be kind to the fish